Hello friends, this video on integers part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now that we have a mix of positive and negative numbers when it comes to integers. So if I ask you which of these two numbers are bigger, which is bigger and which is smaller, 10 or 18. Now it's quite simple for you to answer, right? You would say definitely 18 is bigger. That's because 10 comes first, like 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 18 comes later. So when we add 8 to 10, only then we get 18, which proves that 18 is bigger than 10. Now, if I ask you which is bigger out of minus 35 and 31, now, forget about the negative sign. If I ask you which is bigger, 35 or 31, you would definitely say 35 because 35 is bigger than 31. But when it comes to minus 35 and 31, can you tell which is bigger? Yes, 31 is bigger than minus 35. Now, you might be thinking, but 35 is bigger than 31. Then why is it that minus 35 is lesser than 31? Similarly, if I ask you which is bigger, 103 or minus 108? Now, the challenge here is whenever the negative and positive numbers both are into the scene, it sometimes become very difficult to understand which number is bigger and which number is smaller. So for this, we will understand the entire concept using the number line because this helps us to visualize where the numbers are located. So now on this number line, what do we see? We have zero here and towards the right hand side, we have all the positive numbers and towards the negative, towards the left hand side, we have all the negative numbers. Now, one interesting thing that we observe is that as we move towards the right, we are moving towards larger numbers. So you see, one is bigger than 0, 2 is bigger than 1. Again, if you compare 6, it is bigger than the numbers on the left hand side. So the moment you are moving towards the right hand side, that is this direction, this is right hand side, you are going towards larger numbers. Whereas when you move towards the left hand side, that is you are moving in this direction, you are basically going towards smaller numbers. Now this right and left concept holds true for the entire number line, whether you are talking about the positive side or the negative side. So that this rule holds true for the whole entire number line. That means any number which is located towards right of another number is going to be a bigger number. So let us look at some examples. So if I compare this number 5 with 1, which is bigger? 5. Because 5 is located towards the right of 1. Right? Now let us compare the same number 5 with 9, which is bigger? In this case, 9 is bigger because 9 is located towards the right side of 5. Now, if I compare 1 with minus 5, which is bigger? Even though 5 is bigger than 1, but minus 5 is less than 1 because 1 is located on the right side of minus 5. Right? So, with this, what we understand is any number which is located towards the right is a bigger number, is a larger number. Correct? And the tip that we will use is, now in this case, as you see, that the value of the number increases as you move towards the left, right? So therefore, whenever you are comparing a negative number with a positive number, so how will you compare? Let, let's look at these examples, minus 35 and let's say 21. So out of these two, which is bigger? Now it is not possible to draw the number line and see which is located towards the right and which is located towards the left. But whenever you have a comparison between a negative number and a positive number, the positive number will always be greater. Why? The reason being simple that positive numbers are located towards the right of the negative numbers because you see all the negative numbers are located on the left hand side of zero and all the positive numbers are located on the right hand side. So any positive number is definitely going to be greater than any negative number. So forget about the dimension, any positive number will be greater than 
any negative number. So that is one thing that we learn from here. Now let us say if we have a scenario where both the numbers which are given in the question are negative. Let's say minus 35 and minus 101. Now which one is bigger? Now in this case if you forget about the negative sign which is bigger 35 or 101? 101, right. Why is 101 bigger? Because when you look at the number line, 101 will be located to on the right of 35. 35 will come before and 101 will come later. So 101 is located towards the right of 35. So 101 is bigger than 35. But when you consider the negative numbers, so minus 35 will come first. So you, you might, if, if this is your number line, let's see if you have minus 35 somewhere here, then minus 101 will come somewhere here. So basically you see that minus 35 is located towards the right of minus 101. Therefore, minus 35 is bigger. So the simple tip that we need to remember is if you need to compare two negative numbers, which one is bigger and which one is smaller, the number which is a smaller number will be overall a bigger number. For example, in this case, both the numbers were negative, right? So in this case, what you do, just compare the value of the number. So one number is 35, the other number is 101, which is smaller, 35. Therefore, minus 35 would be bigger because on the number line, you see that the smaller value numbers come before that is the smaller value numbers are located on the right hand side of the bigger value numbers that is minus 101 will be located towards the left of minus 35 so let us look at one more example let's say you have minus 16 and minus 61 which is bigger both of them are negative so let us forget about the sign. Let us just consider the value, which is a smaller value, 16 or 61. 16 is a smaller value. Therefore, overall, minus 16 will be greater than minus 61. So see, this is a very simple concept. Now, why I explained you with the help of number line is so that you understand why uh, this is why we do it like this. Now, as a tip, just remember any positive number will always be greater than any negative number. That is one thing. Second thing is if you have both the numbers negative, forget about their sign. Compare the values. The This number which is smaller in value will overall be a bigger number. So now let us look at the same examples. 10 and 18, which is bigger? Of course, 18 is greater than 10. Minus 35 and 31. So here you have a positive number and a negative number. And as I have told, a positive number is always greater than a negative number. So in this again, you have a positive number and a negative number. Again, as mentioned, positive number will be greater than the negative number. So you see with these simple tips, so you need to remember these simple tips so that you can very quickly answer which integer is bigger and which integer is smaller. So now, as I mentioned, comparing two negative numbers, though I have explained it, but I, I would spend one more slide on this so that you do not have any confusion left with you. So let us take this real life example. So let us say that uh, on a cold day, we find that the temperature of this hill, hilly station is 10 degrees Celsius. So it is not like snowfall everywhere but yeah it is kind of cold it is not a very hot day so the temperature is 10 degrees celsius now the same place after a couple of days when it when snowfall starts and you know it is like kind of covered with snow all over the temperature falls to as small as minus 31 degrees celsius so what what has happened so 10 degree to minus 31 degree. So what has happened? So 10 degree was more. Minus 31 degree is a lot less than minus than 10, 10 degrees. So basically 10 degree is greater than minus 31. Now if the temperature drops further, let's say that if there is even more snowfall, so where will the temperature go? The temperature might even drop to minus 35 degree. 
So you see, as the temperature is dropping, basically your value is increasing because minus 31 is more than minus 35. Minus 35 is more than minus 50 because your value is increasing, but it is carrying a negative sign. That means the, the environment is becoming colder and colder. So this shows that minus 31 is greater than minus 35. And the same thing can be proved with the number line as well. When you look at the number line, so let us say that if this is our number line and let's say that minus 31 is somewhere here. So where will be minus 32? Somewhere here, minus 33, minus 34 and then minus 35. So basically, if you look at their positions, we see that minus 31 is located towards the right of minus 35. And we know that as you move towards the right, you move towards bigger numbers. So that way is also you prove that minus 31 is bigger than minus 35. So whenever you have to compare two negative numbers, forget about their sign. Look at that value of the number which is smaller. Overall, that number would be a bigger number. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.